African leaders met Saturday to discuss a slew of challenges facing the continent as UN Chief Antonio Guterres urged them to do more to bring peace to the conflict-hit regions. Most of the sessions have been held behind closed doors at the AU headquarters in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa. There are more than 30 presidents and prime ministers in attendance. I have made clear the issue of sanctions imposed on member states following unconstitutional changes of government. Obviously, these sanctions do not seem to produce the desired results, on the contrary. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, host of the summit, lauded the bloc for its role mediating the peace deal between his government and the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF. Of Senegal and chairperson of the African Union. When I stood before you last year on this same occasion, Ethiopia was just coming out of a costly conflict. This time, I am here to celebrate the signing on November 2nd, 2022, of the Pretoria Peace Accord between the Ethiopian government and the TPLF, which has led to the silencing of the guns. The summit also aims to accelerate implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement launched in 2020. The African leaders are also expected to discuss the food crisis rocking the continent, hit hard by the worst drought in four decades.